What's the best cutting board oil for your freshly made board? Stick around, we'll check it out. Okay, so if you're into making cutting boards, whether that be a long grain cutting board or an end grain cutting board like we've got today, you may want to know, hey, what kind of oils are safe to put on that? Should I use mineral oil, beeswax, or some combination thereof? Start with any food safe finish. Now, 20 years ago when I was doing some cutting boards, I used mineral oil because that was recommended at the time. And what I found with straight mineral oil is you put it on, it looks beautiful, but it just kind of always stays oily looking. Uh, you give it several days to dry and the oil finally dissipates, but then it looks like it's unfinished. So uh, just a straight mineral oil to me was out. I'm not interested in using that anymore. Instead, I use this butcher block conditioning oil. This one is from Howard and it's a really great product. You can find it at the big box stores and we'll demonstrate it real quick what it does to a cutting board like this in grain version really brings out the colors and it just seems to dry to a nice finish. It does have some food grade mineral oil in there, but it also has a combination of waxes and that lets it dry. And as it dries, it leaves the finish behind. It is food safe, but it doesn't stay oily. So we'll give that a good shake to mix up the oil and the wax blend. And you can just wipe that generously onto your cutting board and you get kind of this instantaneous very gratifying change in color if you're using contrasting wood here we've got walnut and kind of the orange tone paduke and that's what helps bring it out is that oil right so this Howard butcher block conditioning oil will certainly do that for you you can reapply as necessary I find right off the bat one to two coats is enough to get a good finish and you just have to let the first coat dry for a couple hours. Second coat might want to dry overnight. We've got some nice hand holds underneath that we've routed on this one. Make it a little easier to get your fingers under there when you're lifting up a plate of cheese or crackers for the family. But this finish just goes on super easy. You won't find an easier finish to apply. You don't have to top coat this with a solvent based top coat like lacquer or shellac or anything this mineral oil and wax combination is the finish there's nothing else to add Alright guys, there you go. A quick and easy wipe on finish that you can use for your cutting boards. Gives a really nice look, especially if you have a cutting board with contrasting woods. Check the description box. We'll put product information links there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.